Hello everyone, this is Jose Santos from CMG. I'm glad to be here with you again, this time to talk about how to do simple production RFT and PLT plots using results by CMG. First, let's talk about what are these kind of tests. The first one that we are going to analyze is the RFT, that stands for Repeated Formation Tester. It is a tool to measure formation pressure quickly and accurately. It measures pressure at a specific points on the borehole wall. The formation pressure is measured by the formation sampler when it is extended from the tool to contact the formation. Also, fluid samples from the formation can also be taken with the tool. On the right hand side, we can observe a typical graph of the measurement of the RFT. On the y axis, we have the measured depth or TBD sub C. This is the wellbore depth. And on the x axis, we have the reservoir pressure. And we can observe that there are some points that are being measured by this, by this tool. In this example, we observe two, dif two different slopes, while it's typically indicating that we have reached a contact. In this case, it's a gas water contact. The second test that we are going to analyze is the PLT or production log tool. This production log tool provides advanced accuracy measurements of the flow rate and fluid compositions in oil and gas wells. It gives you quantitative evaluation of flow profiles in injection or production wells. On the right hand side, we can observe an example of a PLT. In this case, we have a well that has four different intervals that are being perforated, A, B, C, and D. And we have here the production, the cumulative production. So we can observe from which interval we are producing more. In this case, Interval D and interval C are the ones that are contributing the most of the production and A and B are not contributing that much. Now let's talk about the format to put this field data into results. Uh, we put this data in a format that is called WLG. In this format, we have in the first line depth following the log names that we want to include. In this case, we want the rates for each specific depth, oil, water, gas, and the pressure for this depth. The second line is going to be units. I put here in different colors for you to recognize that meters is for depth, barrels per day for oil, bar per day for water, and PSI for pressure. The third line is going to be TBD or MD, measure depth, then you have to put the well name and the log de date. Then you put uh, the field data into the columns. The first column is for depth, in this case, TBD sub C. The second column is all rate at each specific depth. The third column is water rate. Then the other one is gas rate, and finally the pressure or of each depth. Now let's go to do a quick demo on how to plot this RFT and PL plots in results. Okay, so let's go to results. In results, we are gonna need three different files. Let's click on add files. And we are going to need the run that is already finished. So we are going to click on the SR3 file. Also, the information of the WLG. This one has the whole information of the field data. I just explained how to do it, but in case you want to see it again, here is the information of the file. I just described it. We, we have oil rate, water rate, gas rate, and pressure at 2018.07 of the well called POSO 12. So we click on that one as well. And also we need the trajectory of the wells. Why we need the trajectory is because the field data is associated with the measured depth. So we need the trajectory to convert measured depth 
to DVD sub C. DVD. Let's click on open. So we have the three different files. So we're going to observe here a plot that is called a profile plot. These are plots that do not depend on time, but depend on a depth or distance. So the first thing that we are going to do is to do the RFT. For that one, we go to plots, profile, go to trajectories. The first thing is we are going to add the history data. So let's click on PLT, RFT, POSO 12, WLG. Look for POSO 12, that is the well. The property is pressure and the time step is 2018, July the 1st. So we'll see that we have here two options to add it as a function of measure depth or as a function of DVD. Let's do first measure depth. Add it to new plot. So for my personal preference, I prefer to observe the field data not as a continuous line, but to observe it as, a, as points. So I'm going to change it to points, fill those curve with these field market options, and maybe do it a little bit bigger. So this is the pressure data measured by the RFT. Now let's plot the simulation results. Let's go to curve selector, trajectories. Let's select the SR3 file. The well is POSO 12. The property we're looking for is pressure. And the time step is 2018 July. Remember, we're working with measure them. Let's click on Add Cure. So this is the plot. So the continuous line is the simulation results and the points are the field data. You just have to make sure that you have the same limits for both axes to be comparable. So there are some points here that we can observe a uh, match in the pressure, but there are some points in the field data that we observe higher pressure. So if we want to see a match in this points, maybe what we need to do is to add a skin or factor form per perforation to increase or decrease the well index of that perforation. You are going to observe here also a marker, like a little square here. This is the perforation in the simulation. So if you don't want to observe it, you can click on this show perforation marker, disable it, and those are gone. Now let's go to the PLT. So for that one, go to profile again, and I'm gonna use this PLT. Let's add the field data, that is the WLG file, POSO 12, and I'm gonna click on gas rate, oil rate, and water rate, at the time step is 2018 July. Let's do this one as a function of TBD. And add to new plot. For my personal preference, I prefer to observe the field data as points. So I'm going to change them to points, fill the curve markers, and do it a little bit bigger. So now let's add the simulation results. So for that one, click on the PLT, then click on the SR3 file. The well is POSO 12. Property is gas ray, all ray. And water rate, time step is 2018. We're working with TBD. And let's click on Add Cure. So the continuous lines are the simulation results and the points represents the field data. So as you can see, there are, in the field data, there are some regions that we have more contribution in the production. These perforations in the upper part and this perforation in the lower part. So for the simulation results, we can observe that these perforations capture the contribution in the rates, but these ones over here, they, they didn't capture the amount of gas rate that is needed. So if you want to achieve a perfect match in this one, what we need to do is, is to increase somehow the well index for those perforations, or the productivity index for those perforations. You can achieve that by adding a skin per perforations or factor form per perforations. I hope you find this information useful. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe in all our social media platforms like YouTube and LinkedIn. Until next time.